Here's another little segment in my uh, How to Finger Pick Like Mississippi John Hurt series. And this one is a, a song I really like to play and sing a lot called Monday Morning Blues. And it's in the key of A. He uses this um, slide up to, to the D chord. And then there's the A and then here's the the E chord they have. So let me just play a little bit of it and then I'll, I'll kind of break it down and show you, show you um, what the parts are. Woke up this morning Woke up this morning up this morning, I had a Monday morning blue. So there's, it's, it's not real complicated, but there's some things that are a little bit difficult, although I think you can simplify them and it still sounds pretty good. Um, but if you can do do some of these things like John Hurt does, it, it just sounds great. So the first part is just this slide up to this D chord here. And I always think it's important just to know what the chord is, just to know what the slide is, and then listen to him play it or listen to... He's got a lot of, a bunch of different recordings of it. Although he did record it back in the 20s, he didn't, that, that recording never um, surfaced. But he did um, a number of recordings in the uh, 60s of this song. Anyway. That's a thing you see a lot on a chord. So this is the D chord, it's sort of that, what would be that A shape, but we've just got the first two fingers here. And uh, I use these two fingers a lot. You can, might be wise to use these two fingers. If you just, you know, just what I what I always say is get this get the sound of those notes under your fingers and get them in your head, and then you can listen to versions of it. You can say, okay, so going up or going down. So uh, yeah, you just get the note and you you have the notes in, in your fingers, and then you think of the musical phrase in your head. And syncopate it different ways and just do it a little bit differently, but it's fun to fun to play around with it. You just keep it real simple. Now, I do the D and then I come back to the A and I'm I'm sliding into that A. It's this barred A. That's, that's usually the A I play, actually. I I uh I don't play the other A like that or that that I, I used to play a lot. As soon as I started playing um, old time blues and Mississippi John Hurt, I almost always ended up doing what they call the long A. There's a great picture of him. I need to find it, of him playing at the Newport Folk Festival. He's on stage, he's just playing the most beautiful long A. I just, his hand just looks great. Anyway. And again, you wanna get the sound under your fingers, the one you're going to slide up, it's mostly the second and fourth string that are sliding, or maybe just the bass string and that B string sliding up, and then you've got the A note and the seventh note. So, okay, so let's just play through that. Here we go to the E. You can just do it real simple. Let me do it simple first, and then I'll just kind of add in a little syncopation. So, so you're just going to the E there, just doing the bass notes. So here's a few little things you can do. One thing is you can hammer on that with your um, index finger on that third string. So... 
So it's usually I hit the low note then. Again, just a thing you can work on. You can work on it just like that. So get used to doing it. Now here's a lick that I love in this song, and I don't know of any other song where Mississippi John Hurt does this. Maybe it appears somewhere else, but uh, it's one of the real distinctive licks in this song, and that is where he goes from the... He, he hits that E seventh note there, and then he does the sixth he brings it down one so your pinky's on the b string at the second fret and then he slides back into the a so let me play that for you and see how it sounds oh yeah and there, there's that that a thing let, let me show you that so See if I can break that down. It's I'm, it's the A the the E string is sort of um, served sort of like a what you'd call a pedal note. It just kind of stays there. And then I'm coming down to this third. See if you can just see it in my fingers. It's probably easier. It's harder for me to break it down than it is to just play. I'll try to play it real slow. Echoes that descending again, but while he's on A, and it's one half step up. Da, bum, bum. So it's. So let me play that for you. through real simple so you can see that you can you've got a song even if you just know the basic chords woke up this morning woke up this morning woke up this morning i had the monday morning blue. good and hard to find so that's the thing is the chords hold the whole song together and those little um, riffs that you do are sort of flavor and spice on top of it. So it's important that the licks, those little riffs, don't become like the central thing of the song. It's always an accent. It's always like, and it's almost always in response to a vocal line. The vocal and the kind of the story of the song is really the most important thing. So let, let me show you how that's sort of call and response. Woke up this morning. Woke up this morning. up this morning I had the Monday morning blues it's just great it's it sounds like tears falling or something Monday morning blues it's interesting that that e riff that I showed before really does kind of go with the vocal instead of um, in response to the vocal that's a little unusual for John Hurt too so we'll do that one more time Thank you. 